G'day! In this lesson, we will learn how to secure the application using the permission system built into the ABP framework. ABP framework provides an authorization system based on the ASP.NET Core's authorization infrastructure. One major feature added on top of the standard authorization infrastructure is the permission system which allows to define permissions and enable and disable per role user or client. A permission must have a built-in name, a string. The best way is to define it as a constant so we can reuse the permission name. Let's open the bookstore permissions class inside the acme.bookstore.applications.contracts project in the permissions folder and paste the following code. This is a hierarchical way of defining permission names. For example, create book permission is named and defined as bookstore.books.create. We should define permissions before using them. Let's open the bookstore permissions definition provider class inside the acme.bookstore.application.contracts project in the permissions folder and paste in the following code. This class defines a permission group with four permissions inside this group to secure the UI. Create edit and delete our children of the bookstore permissions .books .default permission. A child permission can only be selected if its parent has been selected. Finally, let's edit the localization file en.json under the localization slash bookstore folder of the acme.bookstore.domain.shared project to define the localization keys used in our code. Localization key names are arbitrary and not a forcing rule, but we prefer to use the convention as per the code in front of you. Let's run the application. Since we have defined the permissions, we can see them on the permissions management modal. We get to this modal by going to admin identity roles page, select the permissions action for the admin role to open the permissions management modal. We grant the permissions we want and save the modal. New permissions are automatically granted to the admin role if we run the acme.bookstore.dbmigrator application. Now we can use the permissions to authorize the book management page. Let's open the book app service class and add the following code in the constructor. Code app service automatically uses these permissions on the CRUD operation. This makes the application service secure, but also makes the HTTP API secure. Since the service is automatically used as an HTTP API as explained before, securing the HTTP API and the application service prevents unauthorized users to use the services. They can still navigate to the book management page. While the users will get an authorization exception when the page makes the first AJAX call, to the server, we should also authorize the page for a better user experience and security. Let's open the bookstore web module class and add the following code block inside the configure services method. Adding this code block now redirects the unauthorized users to the login page. Now we will hide the new book button from users who don't have access to create new books. To do this, we'll open the pages slash books slash index.cshtml file and change the contents to the following code. We have injected the authorization service and we have used an if clause to check if the user has access to creating a book. Only then show the new book button using the built-in function authorization service dot is granted async to check if the user has been granted the bookstore permissions dot books dot create permission. The books table in the book management page has action buttons for each row. The action buttons include the edit and the delete actions. We should hide these action buttons if the current user has not been granted the related permissions. Data table row actions has a visible option that can be set to false to hide the action button. Let's open the pages slash books slash index.js inside the acme.bookstore.web project and add a visible option to the edit and delete actions using the following code. The avp.auth.isGranted function is used to check a permission that we have defined before. 
The is granted function returns a Boolean value, which is used to make the visible property true to show the action item and false to not show the action item. Even though we have secured all the layers of the book management page, it is still visible on the main menu of the application. We should hide this menu if the user has no permissions at all to see the book management page. Let's open the bookstore menu contributor class and replace the menu item code block with the following code. We also need to add an async keyword to the configure menu async method and rearrange the return values with the following code. In this lesson, we learned how to secure the application using the permission and authorization systems built into the ABP framework. Join me in the next lesson to build the author's domain layer.